Hey, so we're going to be expanding and condensing logs today. Um, I love this lesson. It's really easy. If you do not know your properties of logs, you need to go back and watch that video because you're not going to get anything that I'm doing in this video. Okay, so use properties of logs to condense the following expression. 3 log base 9, 2 minus 2 log base 9, 5. The first thing that we're going to use is we're going to use the property, um, the product, no, nah, blah, 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 the power property. <laughs> I was like, what? So the power rule tells us that if the, that little coefficient, 3 coefficient 2, those are actually going to be changed into exponents right so that's my power property and then the next property that we're going to use is the quotient property because that tells us that that minus is actually going to turn into a quotient so we're going to do two to the power of three over five squared you can simplify that to be eight over 25 but you don't really have to do all that example number two so i have log base six x uh plus log base six y plus log plus six log base six z. So what we're gonna do here is first we're gonna deal with our power. Our power rule tells us that that six is actually gonna become an exponent of z, okay? Um, so now that I've done that, now I can deal with my pluses and my um, those are going to go ahead and become multiplication. So that's my product rule. My product rule tells me that that addition is gonna turn into multiplication. And that's it. Example number three. Um, so I have two log base five X plus 12 log base five Y. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do our powers. Our power rule tells us that we're gonna change the two into a exponent of two, the 12 into an exponent of 12. So I'm gonna get log base five X squared plus log base five Y to the 12th power. Now we're gonna deal with our product rule our product rule turns that addition into multiplication these are easy right condensing is easy um so now i think y'all should be able to try some of these on your own um so you should maybe pause the video and check it out see if you can get it okay so hopefully you pause the video if you didn't it's cool um, because you might still need some help. So let's go. So the first thing is we're going to change that four. We're going to use our, our power rule. Oh my gosh, what's going on? It's because I don't have a drink. So first we're going to use our power rule. Um, so that four turned into an exponent. And now we're going to go ahead and we're going to use our product rule. And our product rule turns those addition signs into multiplication. Next. Okay, so now we get a little bit tricky because these one halves are gonna be exponents, but remember when you have rational exponents, really what you wanna turn rational exponents into is into roots, okay? So what you're really gonna pay attention to is the fact that you have the natural log of the square root of x. You could write the natural log of x to the one half power, but a one half power is the same thing as a square root. Right, so you could write the natural log of x plus five to the one third power, but you should know that a one third power is the same thing as a cube root. So once I use my power rule, now we're gonna go ahead and use our quotient rule and our quotient rule, um, oh, so quick. Our quotient rule basically uh, just makes it so that you have the, the square root of x on top and then the cube root of x plus three x plus five on the bottom okay example number six use the properties of logs to condense the following expression i have two log x minus three what kind of what base is that you got to pay attention there's no number it's no log base what so when there's no base written what is the base 10 that's a common log Okay, so the first thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna do two is gonna, you're gonna use your power rule. Now we're gonna use our quotient rule because there's subtraction in there. Ta-da! 
is it really that easy it really 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 is that easy okay so then what you, you should pause the video and I think you could do this one on your own this one's easy Okay, so the first thing that you could do is you could do the quotient rule. Split the, so we're going backwards now, right? So now we're expanding. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is use the quotient rule. Turn the, so it's like we're going backwards. So you're going to turn the quotient into subtraction. And now we're going to go ahead and we're going to use our power rule. Ta-da! It be that set. Okay. So now we're going to do same thing. I like got distracted here for a second. So we're going to do our quotient rule first. And then we're going to use our power rule. Ta-da! Yep, it'd be that way. Example eight, now example nine. Okay, so I have log base five, square root of x over 25y cubed. We're gonna use our quotient rule first. After we use our quotient rule, then we're gonna use our power rule. But this one has a little bit of a trick in it, okay? And these are the kinds of tricks that you guys have to start paying attention to. What I'm going to look at that middle part and I'm going to notice that I have log base 5 of 25. If I have log base 5 of 25, that can be rewritten as log base 5 of 5 squared. And our inverse property, which I told you you should know about your properties already, our inverse property tells me if I have a log base 5 of 5, so that means the base of the log and the number that I'm taking the log of are the same, those actually cancel out. That's what the inverse property tells me. So my answer is just that exponent that's left. So really, that equals two. So if I find something like that in my problem, I should rewrite the problem to simplify as best as as much as possible. So that's why our proper answer should be one half log base five to the x because that was the square root of x. Remember, square root is the same thing as a one half power. So we bring that to the front, right? I simplify log base five of 25 by changing it 25 to five squared, canceling out the five, leaving just the two. And then I'm gonna use my power rule to bring the three to the front, so three log base five y, final answer. Okay, see if you know what to do before I do it. Okay. First, we're gonna go ahead and use the, uh, the product rule. So we're gonna split the multiplication into expanding it into being addition, right? So then after that, what we're gonna do is we are going to take the power rule. So we're gonna move the four into the front to be a coefficient. And then we're looking at that square root of y. Remember the square root is the same thing as a rational exponent of one half. And exponents, I can use the power rule to bring them to the front. So that is my final answer. Okay, wait, two more examples. ln 2e to the 4. Remember, ln is log base e. You're going to need that. <laughs> All right, so the first thing that you should do is you should say log ln 2 plus ln e to the 4. 
Now, because ln e is log base e to the e, remember just like we had that log base five to the five, log base e to the e is gonna allow me to use my inverse property and my inverse property says that I can go ahead and I can cancel those out, right? And so what's left is just the four. So we're gonna say ln two plus four. And that is my final answer. Okay, so use properties of logs to expand. So this one's a final one. This one is it's the big dog. It's a lot going on. Okay, so try this out. Um, let's put up my phone on do not disturb before it bothers me. Pause the video. That's why I'm over here twiddling my thumbs. Okay, hopefully you pause the video. First of all, that's a fifth root, right? So when I have a fifth root, that's really an exponent of one fifth. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use my power rule. Do you feel me? Now that I used my power rule, now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use my quotient rule. So I'm gonna split the division into subtraction. Now I still have my x, y to the fourth touching by multiplication, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and use my product rule. And now I'm going to use my power rule with the four, but what I'm also gonna pay attention to is that I have log base two of 16. And log base two of 16, remember you gotta search to see if you can rewrite anything with the same base so that you can use that inverse property. So log base two of 16 is really the same thing as log base two of two to the fourth. And you see that we move the four in the front, we use the power rule. So now I'm gonna use my inverse property to cancel out log base two, two. And so my final answer is just the same thing with a little four at the end. And that's expanding and condensing logs in a nutshell. <laughs> Um, like I always say, I always go, um, and then I say the same thing that I always say, go back through, see if you could do them without my help. Okay. And also like, share, comment, subscribe, all of the things. Tell people that you know this channel. That's helpful. Somebody with a little melanin. Okay, making the math happen. Tell your mommy, tell your auntie, tell your play cousins and your grandmama about this YouTube channel. And then I'll see you in the next one. Bye.